Hello everyone, and thanks for watching my video on cold fusion. Why with cold fusion you always hear about people getting a positive result of helium as a product of the experiment? I'm here to talk about why people might be getting the helium in their control experiment. Let's start by talking about four states of matter, a solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. We, we will be focusing on plasma, which is what people make when they create a cold fusion arc reactor. Plasma is created when atoms can't gain any more electrons, causing them to give off light, heat, and there are stray electrons going every which direction, forming ion channels. We see this in lightning, arc welding, and the sun. High voltage and high current can cause atoms to bond in ways they normally wouldn't do. Take a look at the periodic table. The farther down the table you go, the larger the atoms get. Some atoms, including uranium, polonium, ruthenium, and einsteinium, are all unstable and decay into smaller atoms, producing alpha particles. Alpha particles are only two protons and two neutrons with no electrons. The only difference between alpha particles and helium atoms are its electrons. The rods that produce the plasma arcs are sometimes radioactive to a degree, which emit alpha particles. The idea is that the alpha particles are ionizing due to the high voltage and high current producing helium atoms, which is then detected by helium detectors. What I plan to build uses a Geiger counter and a helium detector to determine if a sample of a radioactive isotope stops giving off alpha particles and an influx of helium is shown on the helium detector. This will prove or disprove that alpha particles are ionizing and becoming helium. To build this, I will use a high voltage transformer, a Geiger counter, two thermometers, and a pressure relief valve, a water cooling system, a condensing chamber, and a helium detector, which will feed information back down to my computer where it will be graphed. 